more to it. And you know, guys, right now, they're starting to flatline, just hanging on here for dear life. To the paint. It's stolen by Gobert. Now, Exum. Gobert, the screen. Baseline jumper. And there's another one for the Jams. How about the screen that frees him up, though, for the jumper? Pistons trail by eight. Left side, Jennings. Elias Ova sets a screen for Jennings. Sinks the three-pointer. Jennings has got ten points here in the second half. And that's his second triple of the half. None for him going into the break. Favors with the screen. Exum kicks to Hayward. Gobert with a screen on Johnson. Four on the clock. And Derek Favors with the slam. And just another example, Kevin, of how they built this lead just out working. Uh, Greg, that was definitely an effort play right there. You talk about that all the time, fighting to get proper position, then slamming home the putback. Yep, and if they can maintain this energy level, their lead will be safe. Well, that defense went from poor to no defense at all. And when he's open like that, you don't see him miss those looks very often. Now, here's Exum. He kicks the feet. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. Coach can't be pleased with their incon... Consistency on the defensive glass. They've been caught taking pictures out there. They're watching, as opposed to getting in there and securing the orange. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. In the break, guys, I listened in on Stan Van Gundy's huddle. He told us, guys, I know we can do this, fellas. Let's maximize every possession and get after it and just watch. Things will go our way. Kevin? Thanks a lot, Doris. No good on the free throw. At the That one misses. Boy, they came out of the locker room at halftime with a much more physical disposition than they had in the first half. And that helps, Clark. They've gotten extra trips to the foul line, and they need that to continue if they're going to get back in this game. Hayward outside. It's Drummond with the rebound. Pistons trail by seven on the wing, Johnson. And stolen by Hayward. And now Utah, fast break. And that comes off the assist by Exum. And that's 19 points for Gordon Hayward. Wow, the floor just really opened up for him on that possession. Yeah, I mean, I'm all for good offense, but that was just a terrible reaction from the defense. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. We've seen Derek Favors really having a great game. He just continues to light them up. They're going to have to find a way to make him work harder for his point. Outside Jennings, Drummond the screen. Jennings kicks to Caldwell Pope. And the three off target. 
Solid job by them on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in rebound. You know what, that rebound has always been a critical element of the game, and that's why they are now understanding how to win. The drive by Jennings. The three from Johnson makes the bucket. Now he's got five field goals, five for eight in the game. Boy, you've got to love that nice assist by Jennings. Guys, a good chance for them to slow it down. Yeah, I agree. Got to use some clock here. Exum with it, and Jennings picks him up defensively. Favors with a screen on Jennings. Hayward outside from the arc, and that is good. Hayward's got the lead up to 11 now for the Jams. There you go. That's the stroke we saw in the first half. Detroit's gone 4-7 with the long ball here in the fourth quarter. Jennings dishes to Caldwell Pope. Drummond a screen. Here's Caldwell Pope. Burks covering. Down to five on the shot clock. Jennings can't get it to go. Utah has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. And it looks like just playing the last bit of this one out in what should be a nice win here for the Jazz. The block can really turn things into their favor this time. Well, Kevin, timing and anticipation. They got the block, and that definitely changed the momentum in this one. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And once it becomes official, this win gives them a nice confidence boost against this team. They'll face them twice more this season. The stats tell us, Greg, that the winner of the first game is a big favorite to come out on top in the overall series. A good win, and a lot went into it. But I just like the showing for Gordon Hayward. Just an outpouring of points from him. Nobody could do much to keep him from dropping it in.